Hey there, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to replace the third brake light on your second generation Nissan Frontier. Uh, I looked online, there weren't a ton of videos. The instructions that came with the one I bought, it was really cheap, are pretty lackluster. There's not a lot to them. So I'm gonna figure out the issues and problems and show you how to get around those and make it super simple and step-by-step -step how to install this exact third brake light that I bought. There'll be a link in the description below. So let's get into installing the new LED third brake light for a Nissan Frontier second gen. All right, so let's start by reviewing what's in the box, what comes with this unit. So you do get some instructions, and I'll show you what I mean by them being pretty bad. I technically say they're for a Titan, although I'm sure it's a similar process. And one thing which I will show you here in a second is you do need to get inside the cab and pop these couple of little tabs off to pull the third brake light. So there are two basically bolts that hold the third brake light in. Um, once you pop those off, pull out those bolts, then it should come down. It kind of looks to me from these instructions like there is a harness in here, right? and you get two with this kit. So you get this one with green, red, and black, and you get one with red, white, and black with some, you know, sort of cheapy connectors, but then they do have two different harnesses. What I'm kind of guessing is maybe one is for a Frontier and one is for a Titan, and maybe they're just kind of interchangeable with a slightly different harness um, because then coming out of the back of the light itself is just a red, white, and black. So again, I'm just gonna kind of guess that if mine are green, that I'm gonna do red, green to white, and then black to black. So we'll see. And then this is the unit itself. Um, again, it's pretty nice actually. So it's all LED. So it actually looks kind of sharp and smoked. It's kind of nice. Um, and then on the back, it's just kind of smooth. It does also come, and this is the last thing in here. Um, it does come with this sort of like foam thing that I've popped all these, these little pins out, or all these little holes they were filled in, but I popped all those out. But then this just goes over this whole assembly to give it a firm and good uh, mount to the back of the cab so that it stays flush and doesn't rattle. So that's kind of nice. Um, these screw in things here, I'm assuming are what the bolts are gonna attach to, do have rubbery plastic things on them, so you do have to pull those off. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna get into it and I'm gonna figure it out here and I'm gonna give you guys the exact how-to step-by-step -step on how to install this thing. So you can see the reason that I'm doing this change out or upgrade is that my rooftop tent, so I just removed the rack off the bed of my Frontier, sit in there. I've got a new one coming from Extrusion Overland that I'm super excited about, but so while I had this off, the uh, rooftop tent on the old rack was just, I mean, maybe a quarter eighth of an inch above this third brake light, and you can see off-road and hitting trails and stuff, it definitely impacted it a few times. So it has basically destroyed the third brake light. Now the third brake light is mostly covered up by the rack anyways, but I also just don't like it being all busted up like this. It was kind of partially like this when I got it too. Um, so I just figured, you know what, for like 26 bucks or whatever this thing cost, it was kind of worth it to upgrade the looks of the truck and also fix that that thing is busted. And again, with the new rack, it's gonna be two inches above cab height, so it should be pretty similar to the height of my cab rack itself. And so I shouldn't have this problem anymore. My plan is actually to move up the rooftop tent a little bit further over the cab because I'll have enough clearance to do that. So anyways, that's why I'm replacing the light. All right, so we're inside the truck. You can see here those two little plugs up there i'm just going to take my little trim tool here and pop those off we'll see how easy it is to do really really easy one-handed even pop off the other one. Oh yeah piece of cake it's actually up in there is an eight mil that you need to pull out to pull off the third brake light so just going to use a long eight mil socket on a small quarter inch wrench pull those out and then we should be able to pull the tail light off and figure out the wiring so a fun discovery as i started to get this all torn apart there are actually no nuts in here from the previous owner. It's just sitting there. So I guess it's kind of lucky that my rooftop tent was over it. I never had any leaks or had any problems, but I don't know how. You know, the rooftop tent had to just be keeping it dry. Um, as you can see, only like one of the lights works of the two here. This is your, your brake light right there, your third brake light. So everything is just basically kind of broken at this point so you can see what the stock one looks like and then this is the new aftermarket kind of smoked unit again red brake light uh leds in the middle and then white reverse ones which should be significantly brighter than this thing anyways so just an all-around upgrade for 26 bucks 
I've got the backing on it. So I went to the hardware store and I picked up a couple of 10-24 nuts, uh, nylon nut lock nuts that I'm gonna use to put these on. I brought this with me just to be safe and, and threaded them on. Um, so that may be your best bet if you don't have yours or yours don't fit for some reason, just take it to the, the local hardware store and see what you can find that will fit on that. But so I'm going to remove the old light, look at the harness, see which one we need to do, and then we'll go from there. All right, so just to show you guys here, this is the loom going into the third brake light. There was a little plastic pin there that was holding the loom in place. It looks like, if you can see it, a little further back in there, there's another pin that's holding that harness in place. So I'm gonna put something on that, like a pliers or something, and just squeeze it and pop that out so that hopefully I can get easier access to that uh, harness. All right, so on my 08, again, this came with, the new taillights came with two plugs, green, red, and black, and red, white, and black. When I'm looking at these harnesses, it definitely seems that my Frontier matches the one with the green in it. So again, if you're mounting this on a Frontier, you're gonna be using the red, black, and green ones. I wired the black to black, the red to red, and the green to the white. So just so you know, that's how I wired it. I'm gonna plug it in and make sure that works, but if not, I will revise this part. So it is really sunny, so it's kinda of hard to see, but as you can see, I've got one of my doors popped open. And so the reverse lights are on. Looks like six LEDs on each side, so that should put out significantly more light than those crappy old halogens that were in there. And then that whole center section is the brake light. And I already had my wife come out and push the, the pedal, and it does work. They're super bright red. I like the smoke look too, honestly. I think it looks really sharp. Again, for 26 bucks, I mean, it's been a little bit more of a pain than I thought it was going to be to install, but mainly just because old stuff is broken and there weren't any nuts on the inside of it, so I had to go get some new ones. But aside from that, I mean, the install itself has been pretty straightforward. So now I'm going to get inside. I'm going to put the new nuts that I bought on it, and I'm going to get it all tightened down, and we should be good to go. So one new issue that I'm running into now is that the bolt head for the taillights is way far up in there. I can't reach it with my fingers. So what I've kind of come up with is I have one of these like tool or nut retriever magnets and I've put the nut on the end of that and I'm going to use that. If I can get around all the metal, I'm going to use that to get it started. This may take a couple of tries, but then my goal is to use this to just get it started and then I'll put my socket on it and uh, my wrench on it and I will get it tightened down. All right, well, it took a couple of tries, but it actually wasn't too hard. That worked perfectly. So now I'm going to get my socket up in there, and uh, I'm going to get that all tightened down and do the same on the other side. All right, guys, so it's bright daylight now, but I'm going to pop in the truck really quick, which when I open the door, the reverse light should kick on, and then I'll push the brakes so you can see the brake lights too. So as you can see, they're pretty bright, and they look nice. So... I'm actually really happy with it. I mean, compared to the broken up one that I had before for 26 bucks and maybe a half hour, 45 minutes at a time, it's not too bad. All right, guys, so my final thoughts and sort of a recap of all the tips that I gave uh, in this video. I'm gonna just run through everything with you really quick. Again, for the price, for 26 bucks, really super happy. I think the smoked out look is nice. I love the LEDs. I'm sure it'll be way brighter than the other ones when it's not blazing sun in June. Um, so I'll definitely have to check those out at night, but super, super impressed with them so far. Um, tips, if you're installing this on a second gen Frontier, you're going to want to use the harness with the green wire in it. Just wire what matches to what matches and the green wire to the white. So basically black to black, red to red, green to white, and that should make it work just fine. Reverse light should kick on, they should come on when the doors open, and your brake light should come on, obviously, when you brake. Other tips, um, I did cheat a little bit. I ended up because it's so hard to reach up in there, the harness wouldn't really come out for me. So what I ended up doing was actually pulling the headliner a little bit from the back, just kind of loosening it up and pushing the harness down through that. And then I put the new light in, ran the harness down, pushed that down through the, the back of the, the headliner and I attached them outside of the headliner, pulled the headliner away and popped the harness back up. So just a little tip there on how to get the harness more easily installed. And then other than that, I mean, if you have the stock bolts, the stock nuts for the, the tail light, then you should be in good shape. If you don't, again, I used, they were 10 millimeter, 24 was the, the thread depth, I guess. Um, but again, just take the tail light with you to like a Home Depot or a Lowe's or something, go to the hardware section and find something that fits, just test fit it just to be safe.
So that was the install of the third brake light on a Nissan Frontier. Again, link in the description down below to this exact one. So if you just want to get the one that you know works and, and watch the install of the one that you're going to be installing, there is a link down there just to make it as easy as possible on you. Um, if you have any questions or anything, post up in the comments down below. Or if you have any thoughts or if you've done something similar or found something even cooler than this, just let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Um, as always, there are also links to Facebook, Instagram. I've got a podcast that comes out every week talking about general overlanding stuff. Um, there's a Patreon page, and we've got an exclusive Discord for that where you can kind of chat. We can chat 24-7. It's just like a cool place to hang out. Um, and then there's the Newbie Overlanders group on Facebook. So totally free to join. It's got about 4,500 people right now in it, and it's growing every day. So we would love to have you in that if you're looking for some place that is not as horrible as the bigger overlanding groups uh we'd love to have you but so again thanks for watching if you're not already make sure to click that subscribe button click the bell to be notified when new videos drop i do a couple videos every week so anything to do with nissan's overlanding do-it-yourself modifications gear reviews that kind of stuff got a little bit of everything here hence the name all things overlanding um so again thanks for watching and we will see you guys next week